Hello and welcome. You are watching Indian Express online. Uh, our Republic Day is here again. Last year, we had US President Barack Obama as the chief guest. This year, we have an equally high-profile guest. Uh, French President Francois Hollande is here. He was in Chandigarh yesterday. He uh, came to Delhi today. He had meetings with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. On the agenda are several uh, items. Important among them uh, is energy, terror, and defense. Uh, the most keenly awaited uh, thing about this visit is, is the future of the Rafale deal that uh, India and France are supposed to sign. Uh, we'll ask Shubhajit what has happened to Rafale uh, today. Yeah, uh, Amitabh, uh, Rafale deal, uh, uh, in that context, the Indian Prime Minister had expressed willingness to buy 36 uh, Rafale fighter jets from France in flyaway condition, which is ready to use condition off the shelf. Now, uh, after nine months, uh, the, the technical aspects of the deal have been worked out and agreed upon, which means that uh, what are the specifications specifications of these aircraft, what are the weapon systems that will be up, uh, loaded into the aircraft and all those details. However, the price remains a contentious issue and that has not been agreed upon. So today, the two sides signed a document which uh, captures the agreement on the uh, technical aspects, leaving open the uh, scope for negotiation on the price. So uh, we learned from our sources that it would take another uh, four weeks or so to wrap up the deal, but that still, uh, you know, is open to uh, discussion. And Shojit, France and India happen to be the most recent victims of terror as well. Yeah. Uh, so what they, they would certainly have discussed terror. So what, what is on the plate uh, during his visit? Yeah, uh, Amitabh, uh, the two countries uh, came up with a very strongly worded joint statement, a separate one, on counterterrorism. Now, that is the first time that the two uh, sides have done something like that. And in that, they named terror outfits like Jesh e Mohammed, which was responsible for the recent Pathankor terror attack. And uh, also the Gudaspur attack. Uh, was also mentioned and they also uh, mentioned all the terror groups which are targeting India, Lashkar Taiba, Haqqani Network and others. Similarly, the ISIS which has been attacking uh, you know, uh, France in November we saw and then in last year January uh, when the Charlie Hebdo attacks happened. So uh, because of France and India becoming um, victims of terror, uh, so both of them decided to step up their cooperation in intelligence, in army to army, in uh, counterterrorism units, NSG with their, uh, with its counterpart, uh, which is called GIGN. So uh, there is going to be an increased cooperation on this particular aspect. Now, uh, the other thing, since you track the energy space, uh, what, uh, what are the key areas of agreement, I believe there was some Solar Alliance uh, secretary that was inaugurated today. Yeah, the, the most concrete uh, 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 thing on, on the energy partnership, of course, is, is the Solar Alliance. You know, uh, Solar Alliance was launched uh, in Paris during the climate change conference uh, last month uh, in December. Uh, it's an India-led initiative trying to bring together all the tropical countries, about 120 of them, to shift to solar-based uh, you know, energy mix. Yeah. Let all the countries uh, shift to solar energy. Yeah. So France is a very active partner. And of, uh, India launched the Solar Alliance during in Paris, mm. and the French president uh, attended that event. So Modi and uh, uh, Hollande had jointly launched it in Paris. Today, they came together again to lay the foundation stone for the building of the Secretariat okay. and the uh, headquarters of Solar Alliance, which has to be uh, stationed in India. Right. So that happened today. It's a very concrete development in terms of uh, uh, progress on the Solar Alliance. Uh, Shubhajit, uh, this seems to be the fifth time that a French leader has is attending the Republic Day as, as, its, as the chief guest. Yeah. So tomorrow uh, at the Republic Day, apart from this, 
what is what is the special thing about Republic Day tomorrow? Right. So, uh, as you rightly pointed out, uh, France is the f mm, has, is being represented for the fifth time. This is the highest any foreign country has been represented as the chief guest at the Republic Day celebrations. That is number one. Secondly, to to give this more uh, symbolic gesture, a French contingent will be marching uh, uh, along with the Indian troops tomorrow at the Republic Day Parade and this is the first ever foreign contingent uh, to, to march on, the, on Rajpath uh, on Republic Day Parade and after this parade is over, the French president is going to be ho hosting a lunch, having a private lunch with some of the Indian celebrities, um, essentially film stars and artists which include uh, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, um, Subodh Gupta, who is an artist and sculptor. And that's the first time as well? That's the first time uh, he's having this kind of a private uh, lunch with these celebrities. Nice. Yes. Thank you, Shubhajit. And thank you all for watching.